Well, hi guys. We're uh, starting chapter nine. If you want to read up on this, this is uh, the beginning of chapter nine in your book. Chapter nine point one and nine point two is what we're going to be talking about. And today we're going to talk about sequences, series, and then the end term test. And tomorrow you're going to have a homework assignment. You're going to turn it to your sub. So let's go ahead and get started with this, and let's talk about a sequence first. So let me get my pen working. And so a sequence is a list of things where order matters and so it's some collection and we usually call it a sub n and so where n is the position in this in the sequence and so if I were to list this out this would be like a sub 1 and then a sub 2 and a sub 3 and a sub 4 so it's a list an ordered list of things we can go to a sub n we can go past a sub n we can go to a sub n squared we could go to you know, we can, should be a dot, dot, dot there, but we can go to a to, you know, into the fourth. So it's just, it's just an ordered list of things. Now we're going to be interested to see if this converges or if it diverges. So we're going to say that a sequence is going to converge only if it has a limit. As n goes to infinity, as big as n wants to be, does a sub n settle down and converge to a limit L? This is going to diverge if L goes to infinity or if L does not exist. Okay, now a series is going to be a summation of a sequence. So I'm going to have a summation usually starting at 1 of a sub n. This would mean a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus dot 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 a sub n plus even past that. Okay, now if this summation ah, weird infinity there. If this summation becomes infinity. We say the series diverges. Now if the series however stays finite when we're adding things up, even if we're going to infinity with our terms, but if the summation, we're going to call that a partial sum or a sequence of partial sums, if this summation stays finite, we're going to say it converges. Okay, now the entire rest of this chapter is going to be devoted, dedicated to, to two questions, to answering two questions. So these are two big questions for this chapter. Number one, does some series converge? That's going to be our first question. Does it converge or diverge? And the second que question, <laughs> question, the second question is, if so, to what value? Now today we're only going to talk about whether something can, um, diverges or converges. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Let's talk about uh, some specific examples. I'm going to go to the next page here. So let's just say I have a summation. I'll do something silly here. n equals 1 to infinity of 2n. This would mean 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus dot dot dot. Obviously, this limit as n approaches infinity is going to be um, infinity because we're, we keep adding it. The first partial sum is 2. The second partial sum is 2 plus 4. The third partial sum is 2 plus 4 plus 6. As we let s of n go to infinity we see that this keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's never going to settle down to a limit. So the limit as n approaches infinity of this 
is infinity. So this series diverges. Now what about just the, the summation from 1 to infinity of let's say n over I don't know 2n minus 1. Let's take a look at that one. Um, let's take a look at maybe the first partial sums here. If I plug in 1 for n, I'm going to get 1 over, well, 1, and then plus. Now let's plug in 2 for n. I'm going to get 2 over 3. And if I plug in 3 for n, I'm going to get 3 over 5. And if I plug in 4 for n, I'm going to get 4 over 7. And I'm going to keep going. Look what these values are getting close to. These values are getting closer and closer to one half, and that's that's the reason that is is because the limit as n approaches infinity of the sequence is one half. Remember your rules from pre-calculus: if the degree of the exponents match, it's just the ratio of the coefficients. So that limit is one half. So we are eventually just going to be doing a half plus a half plus a half plus a half. And so that is going to grow to infinity. So the sequence of partial sums grows to infinity. So we're going to say this is divergent. So what we're going to need for a series to stand a chance to diverge, to stand a chance, sorry, to converge, we need this sequence to go to zero. Otherwise, we're going to keep adding on positive values that are bigger and bigger and bigger. So to stand the chance, I need the limit as n approaches infinity of the a sub n, what's inside the summation, to equal zero. If it doesn't, then it's going to diverge. And this is called the nth term test for divergence. And it says that if the limit as n approaches infinity of your sequence, what's inside your sigma, does not equal zero, then you can be sure that the summation of that sequence diverges. So the nth term test is a test for divergence. So let's do a couple of examples. What about the summation from 1 to infinity of 1 over 3n? Well, my a sub n here is 1 over 3n. Let's take the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over 3n. What is that limit? Well, this limit is equal to 0 because the top is less than the bottom. Now, what does the nth term test for divergence say? The nth term test says that if the limit does not equal zero, then the series diverges. It doesn't say anything about convergence. Does it say if it goes to zero, it converges? It does not say that. So in this example here, the nth term test says nothing. Let's do another one. Ah. Put a little h there. What about from 1 to infinity of n over 3n? Well, our summation here has a sequence of n over 3n. And that limit, as n approaches infinity, of n over 3n is 1 third. Now, this nth term test does say something. Since this is not 0, we can say that this series diverges. Let's do another one here. <coughs> what about some factorials. No, I'm not yelling at you. It's not like n. That's just n factorial over 3n factorial plus 2. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to divide everything by n factorial. So I'm going to have 1 over 3 plus 2 over n factorial. This simplifies it. Now my sequence is 1 over 3 plus 2 over n factorial. What is the limit as n approaches infinity of that? As n gets really, really large, 
this goes to zero and it's one third. So therefore, what does this series do? That series diverges by the nth term test because that is not equal zero. Now I want you to be careful, okay? This is a test for divergence. You can never, ever, never use the nth term test to argue for convergence. We have other things that we'll learn to argue for convergence. Okay. Um, I'm sort of leaving you guys alone tomorrow to, to play around with some series and and I want you to I'm encourage you to use your calculator uh, with some of these to plug in some numbers and see what happens and so do the best that you can and there'll be another another video this weekend and I will see you guys on Monday.